Yo guys, it's Chris here, Ben on the video, and today we are going to be taking the Quartz 723, I'm not even going to pronounce it, I suck at pronouncing it, this is my third time making this video, my mic has been bad the last two times, I don't know if it's bad again this time, I hope it's not, because I really don't want to have to not publish this video, because this car is crazy, um, so I've, like I said, I've already made this video once, or twice, so I did make a Falcon design on this car, and uh, I've done some things to it. I did make it all the way upgraded to A class, which I will take it. I, I will de upgrade it. All I did was uh, do the tires. I, I put them to race tires and I did weight reduction. And that's all I did. So I'm just going to reset it to the default upgrades here, like it was in the beginning. So it starts out as a low A class car. And this car is crazy for low A class because. It's I don't it's just so good at low A class because it's fast, it accelerates good, and it turns good. So you can hear. So just a nice it's Okay, I don't know why that thing just lagged really bad. I shifted that so I I shifted it and it didn't do it for like a two seconds. But yeah, this car is incredibly long, if you can tell. It's nicer on the inside. Has a top speed of 135. Also, you may be hearing some background noise like you just heard then. We're actually, uh, haven't heard there's a tropical storm slash hurricane Emily where I am right now. And uh, if you're in the UK, that's a an amber storm alert or a red. I don't know, I just looked it up the other day. But yeah, so this car, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it is 5,000 pounds, 5,500 to be exact. But, uh, ah, it is, it's a decently turning car. And I'm running into everybody right now because it's hard to see who's in front of you. And especially if you're in this view. And there's nothing much you can do. It doesn't stop that quick either. But the car looks really nice. I like the front grille. It opens up, like, really weird. Like, the, the trunk space up here in the front opens to each side. Engine opens up on the side. The doors how they open the window goes down it slides out and then goes backwards it's really really weird but this car also has eight gears stock so i just want to show you a little race um i'm going to do a fairly easy race not a hard one uh i'll just try this rolling meadow circuit just to show you guys how good this car is i really really like it and it took me a while to do the falcon design on this car but i really think it looks good uh, I didn't see any other Falcon designs made on this car, and I know a lot of people just make them for the replicas, but honestly, I really think it looks good from the back and the front. The side's kind of iffy, but I think it, it really looks good when you're driving and you see someone coming up like this. So, we're just going to do exhibition right now. Uh, definitely, we're only going to do two laps. Uh, no, I do not, I do not want to quit. Actually, yes, I do. Um, I'm just going to make it the anything goes a class because this is what this is so now this car for some reason i think it's better stock um like okay i don't mean it's better stock but i think it's uh goodness to power to a uh, pi if that makes any sense like the car right now is a 902 and it's beating most of a class or at least anything up to 780 in a class. It's so like in this 12 racers event here, and I'm at the way bottom of a class, I'll probably get like fourth, if that makes sense. I'll probably end up getting fourth. And But I think once you upgrade it to the top of a class, you know, you only have to do tires. This thing already has good enough grip. Do some transmissions and maybe upgrade the supercharger and do weight reduction. Uh, all that brings you to the top of A-Class, but I think all that PI, and now you're going to get matched up with cars that are at the top of A-Class, then I think you'll lose. So it's better, honestly, just to keep this car the way it is if you're going to be doing, like, career mode and stuff like that. So this this is honestly, like, it's already one of my favorite cars. This sounds nice, too. So the acceleration isn't all the way there yet, but... You know, it, it can get there. I like this view better because uh, you can see more of the car. But I like like the like this. I don't know. I think that's silver interior. It's pretty cool. But as you see, the car turns fairly nice. The Jeep getting in the way there. 
but I don't know these it's it's I, I like it it has a decent top speed for I mean this is pretty much a B class car it's only 2 PI over A class this is the braking with it it brakes amazing taking this corner into second gear but and I really like it my other videos that I've recorded on this thing I brought out to A class but I'm just gonna keep it the way it is now for you guys this thing is a stock V12 all-wheel drive 550 or 450 horsepower uh, and so it, it comes with some pretty good stuff I mean a V12 for a class a stock V12 that is not it's not swapped so I honestly think that's that's pretty darn cool 115 we're gonna see if we can hit a 107 on this lap I think it's possible but I don't see any problems in understeer I don't see any problems in oversteer either saying this car is 5,000 pounds 5,500 and in kilograms I think that's somewhere around like 6,000 to 7,000 uh, I don't know but doing weight reduction in the tires and the supercharger honestly didn't make this car any better I was actually I was putting in faster lap times actually but the handling wasn't as good there's a little too much tire spinning going on for me but I wonder if you can drift this car if you guys do want to see a drift build for the Corsa 723 Regalia then make sure you put in the comments that you want to see one of those because I, I would be down to make that you know it'd be pretty cool <laughs> but it's, keep the stock towers we give it a thousand horsepower actually I don't know if you could change it to wheel wheel drive so it wouldn't even be drifting it'd just be power sliding but you know s same thing right actually, actually no I hate when people in all wheel drive say they're drifting and look at that we're gonna get a good exit out of the last turn there and finish first with an exact same time so as you can see doesn't really matter if we if we started in the back because we got ourselves all the way back up to the front and we beat others that are in this like but the other ones that are in here are also like 720s and B class and stuff like that but um I think that's all I gotta say. I mean, I mean, let's just hoon around a little bit. Let's see how it does a drifting stock. It could be good. I'm down it though, but you never know. Maybe uh, one day we'll do a Goliath to this car. Maybe one day we'll fully upgrade it. But this thing is gonna be a beast, and it already is. It is a nice luxury car. So, what is there to do? Let's take it on. Honestly, double hairpins probably too short of a drift zone for one car, but we're gonna try it anyway. I honestly think this car would be okay at drifting, but it's not gonna have much wheel spin because, like I said, it is all-wheel drive, and it is only 450 horsepower. It's 5,000 pounds. It's gonna be kind of like drifting a muscle car, if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. But here's the sound again. Yeah, there's a sound for you. Let's see how it does. Yeah, this car is not gonna drift. Ha! Huh. By the way, if you want to sign up for my drifting competition, please do so. Yeah, it's just pretty much e-drifting. <laughs> it's not that good. I'll take it to the tunnel for you guys. I got a feeling you guys would like that too. Let's just take it to the tunnel um, over here and see what it sounds like. It is actually a pretty monstrous car. has kind of like a, a V6 growl when it's idle to like 3,000 RPMs. But then it sounds like a V12, a classic V12 that every car is swapped on in this game. Once it is above the 3,000 RPMs. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. But spawn right outside this right here. This is what it sounds like when it's idle. Hold on. Let's see if we can get this. Don't think you can hear it. No. But here's the pole.
So yeah, there's our poll. I mean, I don't think there's anything else left we can do with this. I mean, it's it's already been it's been drifting. I mean, we can do a a highway poll. Let's just do a highway poll. We'll end it off on that. And then so yeah, let me let me uh I want to hear what you guys had to say about this car. I mean, is it is it worth it because it is going to be probably selling once it's not free anymore. It's probably going to be on the auction house for 10 million. All these legend tuners are going to be selling it for that much probably. So <laughs> that's it. That's just my opinion on that. But yeah, let's see how we can do. We're going to go the right way of traffic. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to end it off on the poll, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, until next video, like, subscribe, share, and. We're going to be talking about some Forza Motorsport 7 stuff. We're going for a double upload today. So, yeah. See you then. One fifty six.